going on everybody it's titan and feet jack and i'm back at you again it's that time of year again guys it's time for the top 15 countdown of 2022 before we get into it i need a couple things from you i need you to hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts on the video today and do hit that notification bell so you know when to come back and catch the rest of the countdown or any other video i may post here on youtube and if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. But yes, it was some heat came out this year. Uh, it was a few shoes, or oh, a lot of shoes, rather that retro as well. I mean, you may see some of them in a countdown, you may not. This is my countdown in my opinion. I understand there will be some disagreements. You know we can have a healthy discussion in the comment section. And with that being said, let's get it started. Number 15 is a sneaker. Didn't receive a lot of hype. Uh, it's one of the highest selling silhouettes right now. I'm talking about none other than the DC Crush or the Crush DC Nike Donk Low. Rush Owl, I'm sorry, Golden Owl. This is an SB. Nice sneaker, dope sneaker, great materials on it. You got that grind material on the bottom on the outsole. The colors are all kind of neutral. You know, you can rock it with a lot of things, but you do you have that pop of orange? Would have been high on my countdown if it had a little more life to it, a little more color, but I do like the shoe, a lot of quality materials, and it, it's a nice little sneaker I can rock in the fall. So, number 15 on the countdown is the DC Crush or the Crush DC SB Nike Don't Blue. The next sneaker on the countdown, number 14, it came out in the pack. It's the classic, it's a classic icon silhouette. Uh, the silhouette been around longer than a lot of these new YouTubers that's on the platform been alive it's been around that long uh they recently released i had exclusive access to the sneakers i'm talking about none other than a nike air max one ugly duckling pack and the uh yellow okra colorway and the uh i'm sorry the pecan colorway and the honeydew both of them on here yes because both of them are fire sneakers uh, the materials were very premium, just like in the name. You got the Ugly Duckling on the back, and I love Nike paying homage to the Ugly Duckling pack, uh, playing off of the uh, Ugly Duckling pack on the Donk Lows that came out a while ago, some years ago, but this is number 14, the Honey doing the Pecan Air Max 1 Premium Ugly Duckling pack. The next sneaker on the countdown, the number 13 sneaker, this sneaker came out this year and it went right under the radar. It's not a popular silhouette. Uh, it is uh, a silhouette that Michael Jordan actually wore. Uh, it's a collab with a current NBA player. I'm talking about the, uh, the player has some Japanese background. I do have that video up here on the channel. I'm talking about the Air Jordan Retro 8 Rui Hachimura. If I mispronounce the name, I'm apologizing in advance. But this is a dope sneaker. I understand a lot of people don't rock with the retro eights, but the materials on this sneaker is fire. Nice dope sneaker. I haven't worn it yet, but this is dope. Haven't seen this sneaker on anyone's countdown so far that I've been watching. You know, seen a few countdowns. Some of y'all have shoes in the countdown that you haven't. You don't even have in your collection, but the number 13 is the Air Jordan Retro 8 Rui Hachimura. The number 12 sneaker on the countdown, it's a collab with a rap star. It's on the iconic silhouette. The sneaker did come out in a pack. I do have one of the videos of the sneakers loaded up on the channel. Yeah, I did do a review. I believe it was an early review as well, but uh, I have two of the three right here because these were my two favorites of the pack. If I get the third one for retail, I, it's cool. If not, I'm cool with it as well. I'm talking about none other than the Air Max 1 Travis Scott Cactus Jack in the Baroque Brown colorway and the very limited wheat colorway. Yes, I recently added this one to the collection. 
the video is already uploaded stay tuned for that video and I'll tell you how I got this sneaker in my collection but this is a nice sneaker very nice and uh, it also came out with another silhouette the, uh, I can't thank you but the, the silhouette that I'm talking about y'all know it is going for under retail right now on the resale market but these are very nice. The uh, Travis Scott Air Max 1 Cactus Jack in a Baruch Brown colorway and the wheat. Number 12 on the countdown. The number 11 sneaker on the countdown. Uh, it's a nice sneaker. Very nice sneaker. Quality materials. I like it. Uh, probably not a fan favorite. A lot of people probably see it's elementary due to the colors of the sneaker. But me personally, I like the dope colors, I like bright colors, quality materials, and comfort all plays a part to the sneakers that are in my countdown. And this sneaker is based off a fictional character, well a cartoon character I should say, and he has a catchphrase that says, well, I'm going to bring it out. We talking about the Nike SB Dunk Low Bart Simpson. Nice materials on the sneaker. Look at the outsole. Have a warning yet? You got your padded tongue. Dope sneaker. Made the countdown. Nike SB Dunk Low Bart Simpson. Oh, uh, very dope shoe. Uh, the Homer Simpsons came out this year as well, but it was only in grade school sizes, so couldn't put that in the countdown. But do have a pair in house. But uh. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. This is the number 11 sneaker on the countdown. The Nike SB Dunk Low, Bart Simpson. Yes, guys, that concludes the first part of the countdown. Today, I'm going to be coming back to you in, in the next couple of days with the rest of the countdown. So let me know your thoughts from sneakers 15 through 11 that we looked at today. And, uh, you know, leave that in the comment section. We'll chop it up right there. Don't want to take up too much of your time. So... Before I go, like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.